I'm Shane McElroy and I'm the vet with Glambia. I've grown up on a farm and I've worked with animals all my life. What really drives me now is working closely with Glambia farmers to ensure that their herds are as healthy and productive as possible. The purpose of the dry cow period is to give a cow a rest at the end of a long lactation and to allow repair and rejuvenation of the other tissue. The dry period provides an important opportunity to improve cure rates of mastitis and lower somatic cell counts in the next lactation. Drying off cows is one of the most important tasks of the year. Take your time and don't try and dry off too many cows at once. At the last milking, milk the cows out fully, mark them for treatment and draft them out to the holding pen. After milking, wash down the parlour so that you're drying off the cows in a clean environment and have everything that you will need at hand ready for the job. After bringing in the cows to be dried off, put on a new pair of clean gloves. The first step in preparing cows for drying off is to disinfect the teats. The next step is to sterilise the teat ends by scrubbing for 5 seconds with cotton wool and methylated spirits or medicated wipes. Infuse the antibiotic and massage into the corridor. When it comes to using the teat sealer, it's important to close off the top of the teat so that the sealer is placed within the teat canal and not massaged up into the corridor. Make sure to disinfect the cow's teats again after the tubes have been inserted. Remember to mark the cows again in a different colour to show that they've been treated. Keeping accurate dry cow treatment records is essential. Record the cow number, date, treatment given and withhold times. After drying off, separate the cows away from the milking herd and turn out to a clean area that's away from the milking parlour. More information on drying off cows is available in the Cell Check Farm Guidelines for Mastitis Control.